Hello everybody, Argum here, and this is Last Epoch. This game just came out of early access a few days ago. It's uh, version 1.0. I haven't played the early access at all. I wanted to play through the story when 1.0 came out. Uh, this is an ARPG, uh, and I think for the first playthrough, I'm gonna go with the mage. Let's see. And Elder cresting his prime, the mage wields the power of the arcane to make up for his past wrongs and to give the world a new future. Uh, I tried a few characters just to start them to see how they kind of play. And I watched a few videos when the early access was out and they the beginning they showed you the story of the characters i'm not sure if it will pop up later in the game but basically the mage uh was the teacher of the, the act light but she kind of gone off off the deep end and he's been looking for her trying to stop her and I don't know if that's gonna play into the main story or the game at all uh, they seem to have taken that out from the beginning because that's how the game started before so I'm not sure but I, I thought I'd give you guys kind of a background story on, on this character so you start as a basic class a mage uh, and then as the game goes on, you can actually pick one of the three subclasses, I guess. You have a Sorcerer, a Spellblade, or a Rune Master. I'm probably gonna go with the Rune Master for this playthrough, but we'll see. I, uh, everything can be respect in the game, and I think... I'm not sure, but I think you can actually change your subclasses as the game goes on. Maybe not. Uh, we'll find out together. But yeah, I when I saw the disintegrate beam, I'm like, yep, I have to play mage. Okay, let's begin. Uh, and I am playing offline. Uh, currently, they're having issues uh, with uh, their servers. I tried a few characters on the online mode. And you have a well. At least I was getting a lot of lag. So uh, let's just play offline. Program continue. Uh, hard. There's normal and hardcore mode, and you have. I guess this is like the leagues. Last epoch one point. Last. E I keep mispronouncing it. Last epoch one point oh. At least that's I think how we pronounce them. And you have the legacy servers. Uh, I'm not sure if this actually does anything right now. Uh, cycle characters are moved to the legacy server realm or legacy realm when the cycle ends. Cycles typically last about three to four months. Uh, it's 1.0 cycle. But it doesn't say anything about what's different. I go, I guess you have leaderboards, that's it. And I think there's leaderboards for hardcore as well. Hardcore basically, if your character dies, uh, if this character dies, it will no longer be a hardcore core character but can be re resurrected and played as a normal character in the same game mode so if he he dies in the hardcore mode he moves over to last epoch 1.0 but in normal mode that's how i understand it i'm just gonna play a normal um hardcore can be fun i mean but you have to be super careful um and just trying it out for the first time i want to be going through the story experiencing that more than anything else 
Um, solo character found. Uh, this character will not be able to party with nor obtain items found by other players, which I'm in offline mode, so that doesn't matter. This includes find items you find on other solo characters. Oh, okay, so you can keep share items between your multiple characters and this will prevent it. So I'm not going to select that either. Uh, as far as I know, hardcore mode or solo character found mode doesn't change anything in the game itself, other than what they say. It doesn't give you more experience, doesn't give you better items, not that I could find anywhere. I think there's just separate leaderboards for this, especially hardcore mode, on how far you can make it, I guess. Um, okay, uh, normal mode, we're playing offline, let's create character. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed, and yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert, Largon of the sea, Raie of the endless skies, and Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Lekera away. Without her, there was conflict. Then wars. In the end, it was Raie who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Raie's gaze were the Keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected, a traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Okay, here we go. These roads are not kind to my bones. But I must hurry. Wellrin is still a few days away. Oh, and this game does have a controller support. So you can actually play with a controller or a gamepad. Um, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, from what I've seen, it's pretty good for uh, more of your AoE abilities. I'm not sure how it's gonna do with a ranged attack. I'm kind of wondering if there's an aim assist for the controller. Uh, what's this? Fallen Messenger's Letter. In the hands of a fallen messenger, you can find a letter from the Keeper's Council. It is addressed to you. As Keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. Okay, so the messenger was bringing a letter to, to us. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I do go with ranged attacks, I might have to play with keyboard and mouse. Though movement is easier with the controller, I will give it that. Have a new attack, a fireball. Mm. What? Nope. Nope. Ah. gonna use the weapon I mean it's a mage character uh, I will keep that on W I guess we can take a look what abilities do we have uh, oh yeah uh, as you well once you get to level four you can actually slot Want your ability into one of these, you can have one, two, uh, five, five abilities. And anything you slot in here, you can level up basically as you go through the game. Not quite sure if it's based on. I'm assuming on how much damage you deal with that ability, it levels up. Uh, so if I want to put the fireball in here I could uh, increase the casting speed range damage so basically you pick five abilities you want to play with and just level them up Try the controller for a little bit. Swapping skills. You can swap skills on your action bar. I left clicking on them and you okay. I've already done that. Why well, really need an AoE attack? There is kind of an aim assist, so he kind of does pick the next target. I don't even have to with the controller. I guess if I am turned too far away, then he doesn't. But I'm gonna see if I'm kind of just in a general direction. Yep. He retargets to the next target. So as long as you're pointing in the general direction of the enemy. Um, the bodies are burned beyond recognition. They were fleeing. There no elemental resistance on the enemies because you'd think a firebird wouldn't take much damage from a fireball. Ah. 
I cannot do that. When you arrived, was there a family? Yes, they're gone now. It was my mistake. Uh, are we talking about the people that were killed, or...? I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. And they left. Was war, you can't save everyone. What good are we if we can't? Are you also here for the peace talks? Uh, I am. You? Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? Sounds good to No me. wonder. Which of us will take down more Ospricks? Come, let me watch you fight. Let's go. We have our first frost ability. Which reminds me, I just picked up mighty height boots of life. Compare. Nice. Increased movement speed. Armor. Uh, I don't need strength. I am pretty sure all of mage skills. Yep. Yeah. 12% uh, increased damage, 4% per point of intellect. So we need gear with intellect. Disabled. <coughs> Smoke. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, probably should move this. Oops. Wait, how do I just clear this? Oh, okay. Uh, passive skills, uh, passive skill, system information, gaining passive node points, uh, gain passive points by leveling up and completing quests. Advancing your passive tree will unlock new skills and passives. Initially, you may only place points in your base class tree. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Once you choose a master class, you will gain access to the left section of each mastery and the right section of your chosen mastery. You may only select one mastery per care. Okay. So that is permanent. So once you get a mastery, you can re roll that. Okay. Probably gonna go with Rune Master. The Rune Meteor does sound nice. We'll see. I'm not there yet. I have one point. Uh, Scholar Health plus 12 per point. Mana plus 3 per point. Um. Uh, not sure i don't think that's very good because usually later in the games you get way more point points of health and mana increase fire cold lightning damage seven percent per point this is sounding a lot better especially later in the game and intellect and Resistances. I'm gonna go with just more damage. Because anytime you have percentages increases, because later in the game when I have doing a thousand damage, seven percent sounds a lot better than just playing plus twelve points. So intellect would probably be good too. But this is all can be respec later, so doesn't matter as much. What 
what is this? Uh, snap freeze. Freezes enemies in cone in front of you. Freeze lasts 50 seconds. 20% uh, of remaining cooldown recovered when you freeze an enemy. Oops. I don't have anything to sign to exit. That is weird. Much destruction, and for what? Okay, that's all explored. We unlocked special speci specialization. We can put in our first ability. I'm gonna wait on that. I guess. Copy. You can actually change everything later. Let's see how much damage this does. I would like an AOE ability. Where'd you learn to fight? It's basically doing as much damage as my other abilities. 38 damage per second. Fireball does 70, but it doesn't feel like it's doing much. Fertility 44. Oh. Huh. Another point in the event list. I have a point in here. What do we want to do next? Can I add lightning damage? Ambles Lightning Nova, which has 20% more critical strike chance than other elemental Nova types. Wait, can you... Oh, you can concentrate. Uh, is there a limit of how many points you can have, or can you unlock all of it? I wonder. Why do you want to increase this? Let's increase damage in the area of effect first. Then I probably try and pick one. But it looks like you can just pick all of it. It probably would depend on how many points you can actually have in the skill. I'm sure there's a limit. Uh, let's explore over here. And I'm not sure... <clears throat> How random are these maps, or are they more crafted, I guess? Uh, like in PoE, uh, maps are usually randomly Quick, generated. Before it reaches town. Well 
Wotan. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. What's the this? Keepers have proven difficult to track, but my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. We finished a quest. 40 gold, 20 experience. That's... That looks weird. Whatever that was. Herots offered protection. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him, or his people. Why should the Council trust him? Prospect 2. He cares for his people. Like the Goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. He forms alliances, wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature, but we Keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Without Herot's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. Sounds like they're leaders waiting up at the shrine. The Keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Who are the Keepers exactly? A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted to her, but why, we do not know. It's these mysteries that interest the Osprix. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. So what's next? Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. See you soon. Here. Hmm. Is that the map? Okay, so time travel. It's all kind of on the same map, sort of, but in different time periods. Ancient era, divine era, that's current time, imperial era, ruined era, and end of time. Hello, Traveler. Uh, oh, respect mastery points allocation. Do not dwell on the regret. What's this? Uh, stash tab? I believe that's... Is that... Not sure if this is shared between characters. Assuming it is. Let's see. Hmm. Only scroll plus two spell damage. That sounds good. Plus three health regen. That's a helmet. Well, increased elemental damage, I will purchase price 8 gold. I have plenty, I'll take it. Uh, belt? Oh, belt is the one that decides how many potions we can carry. I'll take it.
by increased damage over time. We have plus four throwing damage plus ten mana. I think I'll keep that. a shield and gold I'll take it. and there's a ring uh, oh I actually picked up a ring plus 15 dodge rating plus 8 fire resistance and 13 increased health regeneration critical strike chance that sounds good Keeper Shrine Guard. Keeper's, Keeper Lina is just up ahead. She's busy speaking with the Eaborian ambassador about the pea stocks. What are these pea stocks? Keepers are in need of aid. We're not strong enough to fight off Raya's forces. The Eaborians have offered an alliance. We need their help, but we do not want to be swept up in the war that is not ours, not our own. It's likely too late for that now. Thank Etera. Except you're already at war, uh, so that that statement did not make sense. If you are at war, you are at war. Uh, half are going off this way. Hmm. Okay, so this is another area. It's blocked out for now. I'm assuming higher level. Who does say level six? Level three. So it actually tells you what level each area is. Nice. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. There should be more of us here. What happened? They're gone. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Ask away. Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. What can you tell me about these artifacts? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. But I'm doing you a favor. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Even now, the Osprics swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Balthus is. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Uh, can do. do this. And our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Boria's army. Sounds like I have work to do. Sounds like this is where we part ways. Good luck out there. I have a few questions. Yes. Something you need? So you're from Mirot. I don't work for him. I'm his champion. Why? Champion? What does that mean? It means I've fought hard and climbed my way to the top. Pierrot himself taught me everything I know. As such, I dedicate myself to him, an extension of his will. You certainly seem like a hero. Glad you think so. Everything I do, I thank Herod. He made me what I am. And what's that? The person who's going to end this war. Take Raye down, and make him rue the day he dared mess with us. Let's move on. Next area. 
Um, okay, so it seems like there's teleport points, so I need to make it to this area to unlock the teleport point. So, oh, kind of almost every other area? Oh no, not necessarily. All of these have a teleport point. At least I'm assuming that's what that is. That's what I wanted to check. Okay, so that's the experience specialization. That's where it was. I'm gonna not use it for a bit. Use another skill and see if it still levels up. Did, but not not too much. Uh, that changed a little bit. I guess I need to start tracking after I level it up or something. I'm just wondering if you level up a skill. No matter if you use it or not, or... Oh, it actually gained a point. Now uh, let's increase damage in the area of effect. Not sure if I want it to be more of an AoE damage or area control. Because we can have a freeze all the enemies, freeze cascade cooldown. getting better. Huh. What's this? And I guess uh, I, uh, I saw somebody uh, farm a chest. I guess if you teleport to town and teleport back, the chest will respawn. But somebody said every time you do that, the uh, rewards are worse. Yeah. Let's see what we actually picked up. That's an improvement. Increased stun chance, I'll take that.
increase movement, speed, vitality, and I lose a point of strength, which I don't need strength. Hmm. Ah. We moved to the other side. So how did the talks go? Sayu with the with Krell and one of the keeper's heads uh keeper's head up in the shrine. They went well. Well I'm glad to hear. Okay. Hmm. This goes in the sheen spot plus five intellect plus oh in six increase fast. I will take that. It decreases my oops. Nope. Ah. Uh, I wanted to sell the sheen that that was awkward. Uh, what's this? There's staffs as well. Except I'm guessing this is two hand. Yeah, two handed. Eighty-seven percent percent increase spell damage. I think five intellect gives me thirty-five percent at least. So it's actually better. But this gives me plus three. Uh, do I have enough gold? Let's experiment. So, 67 damage per second. Seventy-one, so that's actually better. I'll hold on to this. Right. can just keep doing that. Quiver. Oh, that's for archery. So there's... None of the weapons are character specific. You can have basically an archer magician if you wanted to. Yes, I, there's no skills. That a mage has that use a bow, but you can still attack with the bow. That is weird. I don't seem to be leveling it up as much. I seem to leveled it up a lot more when I leveled. The character actually leveled. It's kind of an Anova. See how much experience I gain just. Yeah, it's like I didn't gain anything at all. Or I'm wondering if these enemies are too low level. I'm still getting experience from them.
look. Uh, I gained a little bit, but not much. I'm guessing it's because they're much lower level. I'm about to level up, though. I want to see if I get a like a big chunk of experience. Like that. Yeah, leveling up while you get a huge chunk of experience to your skill, it seems. So having a skill... So you want something in one of those slots as, as quickly as you can. Oh, this doesn't use mana. Okay. So some of the skills that don't actually use mana, like this one does, but the fireball and the electric shock do not. Oh, there's something back there. Not do that. <laughs> what is this? Critical Shrine. Uh, your hits always crit. Nice. Oh, my skill leveled up. Let's just keep going this route for now. It is getting bigger. I'll probably eventually have to set up a filter. Uh, oh, I can't use it a second time. Is it a one-time use? Oh, there's a timer running out. I wonder if I can grab it again. No. Okay. Okay, time to go to the next area. And that is actually where we'll pick up in the next video. I'm actually, this is pretty fun. The story is kind of interesting. Well, I haven't seen much of it. We'll see how it is later on. Uh, combat seems fairly fluid. Uh, I'm enjoying the game, actually. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Maybe hit that like button. Leave a comment. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.